Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today's video is going to be a little different from my usual. I'm actually going to be showing you how you can make your own handmade um, fizzing bath salts using a lot of ingredients that you probably already own in your kitchen or pantry. So lately I've really been in love with kind of buying um, specialty bath products, handmade soaps, bath bombs, bath salts, things like that. The only downside is, even though it's a great way to pamper yourself, some of these things can get a lot um, can get really expensive, especially if you're buying from big name brands like Lush. So this is an inexpensive alternative. I'm going to show you which ingredients you're going to need first. The first one you're going to need is baking soda. This is really inexpensive. You probably already have it in your pantry, but if not, this only costs about a dollar for three pounds at Walmart. The next thing you'll need is some Epsom salts. Again, these are really inexpensive. This is four pounds and this costs three dollars at Walmart. You can find this in like the medical section. Um, next, you can also find, you probably already own this, but this is cornstarch. You get it in a big box. It costs a couple dollars, but I like to put it in a big Ziploc baggie just because it tends to get really messy to pour it from the box. And the next dry ingredient you'll need um, this is one thing you probably won't already have in your kitchen, and this is powdered citric acid. I can't find this in any regular grocery store or drug stores. I've heard that you can get it from some health food stores, but I just prefer uh, to order mine online. I get it from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It costs about like six bucks, I think, for um, a pound, and that's shipping included. So I really like to order from Wholesale Supplies Plus again, if you can see. Next, you will need. Um, Actually, this is totally optional, but I like to add some colored sprinkles, just to add some color. These aren't going to hurt your skin or anything. Really inexpensive and just make it a little more fun. Next, you'll need some fragrance oil. I order mine online from CoastalSense.com, really inexpensive. And if you use the first class shipping option, I think, um, it only costs a few bucks for shipping. In this particular recipe, I'm going to be using a mixture of buttercream and warm vanilla sugar. And when I mix these two together, it smells exactly like vanilla cupcakes with buttercream frosting. It smells so good. Um, then the last ingredient you'll need is just olive oil. You'll probably already own this. And this is going to be really moisturizing, really good for your skin. A lot of um, handmade soaps will include olive oil in there just because... It's really good for your skin, very moisturizing, and I know a lot of people will clean their brushes using olive oil and like dish soap. I know Michelle Fawn does. So yeah, this is really good for your skin. And then for the materials you'll need, first off, a plastic bowl, preferably one you're not going to be using with food. This is just a dollar. got this from Walmart. And then you'll just need some measuring utensils. I have just cups and then um, measuring spoons. Again, I got each set of these from the dollar store so really inexpensive and then this is personal preference but I like to mix all these ingredients with um, gloves and these are just painting gloves you can use latex gloves nitrile gloves if you're allergic to latex um, but that's everything you're going to need and I'm just gonna get right into the tutorial so I'm gonna be filming in my bedroom I wouldn't recommend that the only reason I'm filming in my bedroom is because my kitchen's kind of a mess right now and this is the only place I can get really good lighting so I've just kind of put some newspaper down to keep my bed clean um, the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to measure out one cup of baking soda it doesn't have to be super precise you don't have to level it with a uh, with a knife or anything just one cup of this So I have about a cup and I'm just going to pour that in there. Next you're going to want one fourth of a cup of cornstarch. Again, it doesn't have to be too precise and I just got it all over me. See what I mean about big, or, or uh, cornstarch being really messy. So just get that in there. And then you're going to need half a cup of the powdered citric acid. And then finally, you will need one fourth a cup of the Epsom salts. And if you have any chunks of Epsom salt, just kind of break it apart in your hands. And this Epsom salt has a really nice coarse texture. 
Um, but don't worry, it's not going to scratch you up or anything. It will dissolve in the water and it'll just, um, yeah, it's really good for your skin. So once you've got all the dry ingredients together, kind of mix it up with your hands. Of course, you can also use a, um, they look like that. You can also use a spoon or a whisk or whatever you want. I'm just going to use my hands because I find it makes it a lot easier. Next, you're going to kind of make a well in the middle of the bowl. And I'm so sorry that this is awkward angle for you, but make a well in the middle of the bowl. You're going to take your fragrance oil. I like to use between one and two teaspoons. It's all a matter of personal preference, really. If you like it stronger, just add more. Um, so I'm going to add one teaspoon of the buttercream, just right into that well. And then I'm going to add one teaspoon of the warm vanilla sugar. And then finally, I'm going to add a full tablespoon of the olive oil. It might seem like a lot, but after you mix it in, it'll kind of just get absorbed into the ingredients. So once you've got your oils in that well, you just want to go ahead and start mixing it in with your hands. And it'll look lumpy at first, but just keep kind of massaging the clumps out with your fingers until you have a really homogenous mixture. Now at this point your mixture looks kind of fluffy. It looks like this. And at this point, if you wanted to, you could press these into a mold and um, see how it kind of sticks together. The term is like wet sand. You could press these into a mold and let them dry and they would be like bath bombs or bath fizzies. But I prefer to just use them as bath salt because I think it's a little better for the skin to add the extra Epsom salt. And it just makes it a lot easier because um, it's kind of hard to get the bath bombs to stick, especially if you've never really done it before. And um, yeah, so what you're going to do is add a whole another one cup of Epsom salts. And again, if you have any lumps, just kind of um, crush them out with your fingers. And now I'm just going to blend it up with my hands. And you'll see the kind of crystals of Epsom salt in there, and it will look really pretty. And then this is where I like to add just a little bit of the um, sprinkles. It just looks really pretty, I think. And then just kind of mix those in. I actually like to be pretty generous with the sprinkles because when you throw the bath salt in, the sprinkles will kind of make this really pretty kind of swirled tie-dye rainbow effect on the top of the water, which I think is fun. Um, so we have our bath salt with really pretty sprinkles in it. I'm not sure if the sprinkles are picking up. So here we have the finished product. I like to just store mine in a Ziploc bag and it works just fine. But it's also a really fun idea to gift them to friends. So when I want to do that, I like to put it in just a cellophane baggie. This is about a cup of the mixture and then I just tie it with a really cute pink bow. Adds a nice touch. And this is a great gift. Very inexpensive. Now I'm going to give just a really quick demonstration of how this product works. So I take about a tiny little bit here, and I'm just going to pour it into this water. If you can see, it just fizzes away, and it smells so good. It releases the oils, and it's going to be really, really great for your skin, very pampering. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it's helpful. I hope that some of you guys will give it a try. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the information bar and or in the, in the comments below, and I will get back to you. So thanks for watching. Bye.